Has Amazon suspended your account? Are you feeling lost? Hey, I'm Norm Farrar, and today we're going to walk you through how to write an Amazon plan of action that will help lift the band. Anyways, before we get started, subscribe to the channel below and make sure you check out privatelabellegion.com for more free, great information and resources. And make sure you check out our Facebook group and give us a like. This is kind of like an IRS tax audit where the government knows how much you've earned, but they want you to explain the details of where you get your income and where it came from. Amazon knows exactly the reason why they banned your account, but they want to hear from you to make sure that the situation will become resolved. They also don't provide much guidance on how to write a successful appeal. So this is where we're going to help. All right, let's start with how do you write a successful appeal? All right, well, let's go back to real basics. Take a look at the original notice that Amazon sent to you. The email usually provides a general, very general, very broad reason why your account was suspended. If it says performance issues, then you should look at your account health dashboard and see if there are any noticeable issues that stand out. If it says seller policy violations, then you should check out Amazon's terms of service and check and see if your practices match up with Amazon's TOS. Sometimes you're doing things that may be out of line and you just have to make sure that you understand what you're doing wrong and fix them. Now, if the email says product rule violation, you'll need to review your inventory and double check if any component of your products or packaging are prohibited. Once you've identified the issue in question, then you need to put it in writing and that's where a plan of action comes in. You need to be direct and you need to be concise. I know this process can be frustrating, but don't get emotional when writing your POA. It's so simple to do. Screaming at Amazon will not get you anywhere. They only want to see how you're going to rectify the situation and not how your account suspension is affecting you. I don't want to sound like a middle school teacher, but take your time and think through how to organize the document. Make sure your document is as easy to read as possible. I suggest using bullet points rather than full sentences and make sure that you address every single issue and let Amazon know how you plan on fixing them. One other thing, in the spirit of making this POA as straightforward as possible, make sure you include any and all supporting documentation. You don't want to just drag this process on and on and on. By adding the supporting documents, you can give Amazon enough information, enough proof to reinstate your account without waiting for another email or another appeal. Now, once you're satisfied with your POA, you can submit it and cross your fingers. If you take the following steps and you've targeted the right issue, then you should be able to have your account reinstated fairly quickly. However, if it's the wrong issue, and like I said, Amazon sometimes is very broad and they don't give you the exact reason why they canceled your, uh, your account. So if that's the case, it could drag on. It's Amazon. It happens. So don't get frustrated. This isn't a guarantee. We hope that you did address when you submitted the plan of action, the right reason. And also Amazon can also misinterpret the actions that you stated in your plan of action. And that could extend su suspensions of your account. And my last piece of advice is just make sure you try to keep your business as in line with Amazon's TOS. Have you written a POA or a plan of action before? If so, what were the results? Okay, for more information, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and join our free Facebook community at thelegion.group. Thanks again for watching.